If you have a Sega Dreamcast that does this every time you start it up, you need to change the battery. Don't try to use a regular CR2032 battery, you need an ML2032, which is rechargeable. Dreamcast recharges the batteries as it uses them, and you're going to need a battery holder with three prongs on the bottom, it looks like this. Tool-wise, you're going to need some screwdrivers, a solder and iron, probably some flux, and either a desolder pump or a desolder and iron as well. To disassemble, there's four screws on the bottom, one, two, three, and one hidden under the expansion port. Once you're inside, you'll see the old battery here. It's got like a blue cover on it. So we need to get under there, so we need to take these four screws out on the controller ports. Once you've got the four screws out, there's two ribbons to remove. This one on top, and this one on the side. Be careful with the ribbon cable. Once you've got the controller board out, if you look on the bottom, underneath the battery, you'll see one, two, three pins here that we need to desolder so we can remove the old battery and install the new one. It should now slide out. I'm going to take my new battery holder and position it in exactly the same way. The one I've got is pretty much identical but plastic. There you go. Now I'll just solder that in place. We can place the new battery in the slot. Yeah, ready to put that together. Switch it back on, hopefully the amnesia will be cured. It's the correct date and time one last time. Fingers crossed. If the battery's working, should put up the correct time. Boom, job done.